Packed out crowd here as we look down our 70 metre range. Coming up, it's the bronze medal match in the recurve women's team event. And we'll see Great Britain go up against China. Well, the teams came through to this bronze medal match. Great Britain shooting a 1979 in the ranking round, taking out Germany in the quarterfinals before losing to Korea. China shot a 2035 and were ranked second. They took out Ukraine in the quarterfinals before losing to Chinese Taipei. The losing semi finalists have to shoot off against each other for the bronze medal. So let's go down to the range and welcome Great Britain and China out to the field of play in the Netherlands. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes to the field for the Rieger women's team bronze medal match. Well, Great Britain lead the teams out. 26-year-old Sarah Beatles, the 22-year-old Bryony Pittman, and the 35-year-old Naomi Folkard. On target number one, representing Great Britain, Sarah Battles, Naomi Folkard, Bryony Pittman. On target number two. Well, Great Britain face China. World number five in their team, the 21-year-old Zheng Yichai, Meng Fangshu and Ang Qijuan. Ang Qijuan is just 18 years old. On target number two. Well, while uh, the Chinese team uh, announced the crowd, Vanessa, how does uh, the recurve team the competition work? Well, um, team matches Chi are Chuan. decided on set play scoring. Each set consists of six arrows, Chuan. two per athlete. If a team wins a set, they get two set Chuan. points. If they tie, that means they split the set points, one each. The team to five set My points first wins. Match is sailing gravel. Well, there is uh, the coach for China. He's actually Korean, Li Wang Wu, former Korean Olympic assistant, switched over to coach the Chinese team. The British coach, well, the British coach in the box is Sarah Smith. <laughs> That's not a doubt. And the reason she's there is because the British team like a nice, relaxed feeling when they're shooting. Smith is a former recurve international. And a sports scientist. Same as always, guys. So here we go for bronze. <laughs> Set number one. <laughs> and China on target two will shoot first. That was a quick shot from Meng. She's adjusting her sight right after. So 25 out of a possible 30. Barney Pittman into the center. <laughs> Falkard going second for Great Britain, their most experienced archer in the middle. Yes. 
Yes. Wow. Good start for Great Britain here. Good job, guys. Switch back over to China. Oh, it's a high arrow for, for Zhang again, and she's still out to the left. You can see her making some adjustments. Meng still high up on the target. I'd love you to watch Anne's shot. I love how she continues to move throughout the entire shot and right through the clicker. Well, a 48 out of a possible 60 means this is a big opportunity for Great Britain to score points early. Keep pulling. Follow through to the middle. Nice. Great shot. Let's go, Noma. Well, Great Britain could wrap up this set with an arrow to spare. Cast. Check your string alignment. Nice. Good shot. Let's go, Sarah. So the coach told her to check her string alignment. That's just another way to make sure that your shot is very consistent and that everything is in line. Bit of a nervy one, but a nine is more than enough to take the first two set points for Great Britain. And what a start they had with those three tens, Vanessa. It was a fantastic start, and that's going to definitely set the tone for the rest of the match for them. Yeah, it certainly did, and it put China under pressure. And here are the three tens. Pittman leading them out. What a great first arrow. Folkard right next to it. And then Bettles just coming off one of the other arrows actually I think that was pretty much going in the same spot too yeah I, I can't think of a better start for Great Britain um, unfortunately this is not a characteristic of China but the thing about set play scoring is that they can forget about the arrows that they just shot and reset for the second set that's gonna come up yeah well two set points to Great Britain but uh, we're down to 0-0 at the start of the next set no, oh, because it's the team jellyfish. I'm over here like... I do it like just by myself like... <laughs> Baby jellyfish. Well, the Great Britain team wanted Sarah Smith in the box because of her... Well, they, they said to me, fun attitude. They want to be relaxed when they're on the they're shooting like line. The, I can see Patrick and I can see Naughty. <laughs> they're looking out at the, their uh, fan base oh, yeah. in the crowd. They've got really relaxed. They're not talking about the archery at all. They're not talking about technique. They're talking about, oh, look, there's our teammates in the crowd. I love that. They're at the World Championship shooting a bronze medal match. I think the best way to go about it is to really enjoy the moment because this is a very, very, very special opportunity. Well, China had a bit of a huddle themselves. They'll get us underway for the start of the second set. Still out to the left. She's making vertical adjustments. Right, that's the first 10 for them. That will lift their spirits. Nervy stuff from China here. Another big opportunity for Great Britain to put the pressure on. Keep pulling. Follow through to the middle. Nice. Good shot. Got the snowman. Oh, 
past. Check your string alignment. Nice. Good nice job. job. They're almost like little That's verbal good, cues from uh, Sarah Smith. It's it almost part of the process for each archer. the first three arrows from Sarah Battles <coughs> and Great Britain have a five point advantage at the halfway stage of the second set having taken both the points in the first set three big arrows required from China a nine not too bad okay. is quite quick shot sure. well she's been the best archer on the team so far in this particular match Meng Fang Xu oh there it is well they seem to be zoning in on the center of the target she recovered well from her six in the previous half of the end Still a big opportunity for Great Britain in this second set. Nice, good shot. Let's go, Noma. Ball past. Check your string alignment. Nice, great shot. Let's go, Sarah. Well, that takes the pressure of Sarah Battles. A six to share the points, anything more, and Great Britain will have a four-point lead. Nice. And an eight is more than enough. It's four set points to Great Britain. I'm not sure they can believe the opportunity that they've been given by the Chinese team. The first three arrows in both sets from China have not been their very best. No, they haven't. And the thing is, Great Britain are probably not surprised with their own performance. They're performing really well right now. And I think they just trust each other. They're having fun and they're, they're believing in their own shot processes. Well, China there, they started that second set with a seven. And then they got two tens in the final three arrows. In fact, it was a nine, ten, ten for China. And have they started to find the center? And is it soon enough? I think, I think they have found the center. We'll have to see how they start out this next end. It needs to be strong if they're going to put any kind of pressure on Great Britain. Yeah, and with China going first, Great Britain know what they have to do because all they have to do in this set is match China. They don't have to beat them. They just have to get the same score to share the set points and get to that target of five. Really is packed out in the crowd here today in Den Bosch. <laughs> Chinese team looking relaxed. You can see not a seat in the house. So China fighting to stay in the bronze medal match will start the third set. Oh. Zheng finally has found the middle after two nines and two sevens. I think she's dialed in. This is much, much better. Yeah. 
The best start to a set for China. 28 out of a possible 30. How will Britain respond? Keep pulling. Follow through to the middle. Oh, Brilliant. wow! That's the best shot from Great Britain so far. She looks happy with that. She's I would be too. smile on her face. The pressure must be enormous out Fast. there. Check your string alignment. Didn't look oh, so right. happy with that one. Go, Pulled over to the right. You can feel where the shot's going to go almost even right before you shoot it. Good recovery there, but China have a two-point lead at the halfway stage in this set. They can put it out of reach with their three arrows now. Yeah. That looked like a good shot. You can tell that there was no hesitation with it whatsoever. A 10 now from China will mean that Great Britain have to score three tens to share the set points. But she's dropped it into the eight, so a 54 is a reachable target for Great Britain. They can get up to 56 with three tens. Shot. Let's go, Neymar. Right on the the line there, but gets the higher score. Pull past and check your string alignment. Nice, good nice. shot. Right, go, so Neymar. now a ten required to take the bronze medal. Sarah battles to shoot this arrow for Great Britain. Ah, oh, it's a nine, and China have started a comeback against Great Britain. They've taken the set by a single point, but they get their first two set points. They still trail Great Britain 4-2 in the bronze medal match here on Recurve Sunday. Great Britain still shot an amazing end, just with 1-7, unfortunately, um, they ended up dropping a couple too many points, but again, this is set play, so it's a whole new end and something can change. Yeah, it's interesting here because uh, there's lots of communication with the British team, but here, just a very few words from Li Wang Wu, the uh, Chinese coach who is from Korea. The dynamic is very different. The athletes all talking to each other in the China camp with the coach standing behind. The athletes in the British camp are huddled around Sarah Smith. I, I know uh, Coach Lee and he does have that tendency. He's kind of known to be a little bit uh, further back and he allows his athletes to have their conversations and he'll be there for support if they need. Keep doing what you're doing. Well, you mentioned that seven from uh, Great Britain. Oh, here we have it, Naomi Fulcard didn't look happy with that shot straight away. And then China's response was going straight into the center. And there is the high five of sorts to celebrate. They needed to respond, China. They've certainly done that. They trail by two, so they'll shoot first in the final set here. Determined look on the face of Zheng. Wow! Cracker to start off the fourth set for China. That 
is a brilliant first two shots. Twenty nine out of a possible thirty. And the fight back continues for the Chinese team. How will Great Britain respond? Keep pulling, follow through to the middle. Nice, good shot. Let's go, Noma. We're only an eight. China will definitely lead at the halfway stage. Pass. Check of this set. Nice, Ooh, great nice. shot. Let's go, the flight of the arrow that one going high and it's a three point lead for China at the halfway stage and again they can put this one out of reach of Great Britain and if they do the scores will be tied up at the end of the regulation sets Excellent shooting from China. They're really putting the pressure on Great Britain. And they've just started to get a little bit more vocal. Wow. Well, there you have it. The 58 is not a reachable target for Great Britain. So now it's all about going through the process. Whatever they do, it will be four set points each at the end of this set. This is now a rehearsal for a tiebreaker for Great Britain. You still want to shoot these arrows. You want to make sure that you go into the last set feeling confident and that you're ready to uh, execute good shots. Second one high from uh, Naomi Fulcard. It's uh, marked with an asterisk, which means it will go to a measure. Could be potentially marked up to a nine. And another high arrow. So a commanding performance from China in the fourth set brings us all level after the regulation four sets and now the coach getting involved in a conversation with the Chinese team as we prepare for for the tiebreaker Vanessa what are we about to see well when it comes to a shoot off uh, each arrow shoots one arrow the team with the highest total score wins if they're still tied after that then the team with the arrow closest to the middle wins so it's kind of like a mini end or half, half, a mini set, half a set. Exactly. Every arrow is very important, and that's all each archer has to shoot. They're going to alternate shooting. So we'll see Great Britain, then China, or China, then Great Britain. Well, China, we suspected, was starting to dial into the center. Those first two arrows right next to the spider, that cross in the center of the target, are the grouping very, very good in all for a recurve, a recurve uh, team yes. competition shooting over 70 meters. Here's the closest arrow, 0.18 of a centimeter. So I think in order to shoot a 10 at 70 meters with a recurve bow, the point of your arrow has to be within the diameter of a ballpoint pen. Still looking relaxed in the British camp as uh, their teammates and fans in the crowd cheer them on. Same as before. You got this. 
Sarah Smith still very, very relaxed. It doesn't feel like a, uh, it's a medal at uh, a World Championships at stake. As you can see, the targets are being replaced uh, for this shoot-off. Important that the targets are clear and that uh, the uh, measuring devices used are all aligned properly. there in the middle of the, the flat cap is uh, there you go the British flag being raised come out in support but uh, standing up just behind that flag was one of the Chinese delegation Bryony Pittman has shot really well here just dropped into the eight a couple of times but she kind of sets the tone for the British team shooting first she does, and it really sets the momentum for every set. When your first archer is shooting well, all you have to do is really believe in them and just kind of try and repeat what they're doing. So here we go. It's time for the tiebreaker in the recurve women's team bronze medal match. Who is going to be on the podium later on today? Will it be China or Great Britain? Solid start from Zheng Yichai. Keep pulling. Follow through to the middle. Nice. Didn't Good look shot. as happy as she has done. She's dropped that one into the eight. It's a good height. Hand over to Meng Fang Zhu. It's a good group just out to the left. Promising for China. Naomi full card. Full past. Check your string alignment. Nice. Full card puts it into the 10. We're all square after two arrows. This bronze medal match has come down to just two arrows. First up, the 18-year-old, Ang Ki Juan. Put it into the nine just on the other side. So, a nine is what's required here because Great Britain already have the closest arrow to the center. Sarah Battles. Where's this going to go? Oh. It's gone into the nine. Great Britain had a fabulous start. China fought back to draw level. It went to a tiebreaker. And Sarah Bethels needed a nine to take the medal. And that's exactly what she got. Absolutely incredible. I can't think of a higher pressure situation for her. She performed under pressure. And I can't <laughs> look, she, she just looks so happy. What a match that was to start things off on Recurve Sunday. There is confirmation from the target judge that Great Britain have taken the bronze medal here in Den Bosch in the Netherlands. Brilliant performance from them. They wanted Sarah Smith in the box and there she is. Front and centre, looking very delighted. But the medalists, Bryony Pittman, Naomi Fulcard and Sarah Bettles have done it for the British team. Over the past couple of years, they've really been revamping their whole system and I can really see that they're reaping the results. A warm round of applause for the Chinese team who are departing the field right now as Great Britain are confirmed as the bronze medalist here in the recurve women's team event.